my peeps. Hope everyone's been good, safe and healthy, and crafting. So today, I'm not really going to do, um, I mean, we're not really going to create anything. Well, we might do a little something at the end, but I'll see how that goes. Anyways, today is going to be about fake bake basics. Fake bake 101. I got a lot of questions about how to do this, how to do that, what I use for this, what I use for that. I mean, these are things that if you search Google or even search YouTube videos, you'll see online and you'll find that information. But I haven't seen a video where it really puts everything like in one video. So I'm going to do that today. And maybe one day down the line, there'll be a fake bake 102, which it will be a part two. But for right now, I'm just going to give you the basics. You know, that's how I started with the basics. And then from there, my mind just started uh, thinking of other things. And when I look at certain desserts or certain treats or whatever, I'm like thinking maybe I could fake bake that. And I try it. Sometimes it works and sometimes it fails. I mean, I didn't uh, overnight just, you know, become a good, I'm not even good. There's so many, if you was to see all the beautiful, there's fake desserts out there, you wouldn't even believe it. I'm just a starter, basically just learning as I go, but I do make mistakes and you will too. And that's okay. That's how you learn, right? So... I'm going to just give you the basics. So, you're going to need... The, the most asked question is, how do you make the frosting? So, what you use is lightweight spackle. So, I got three different kinds here. This one is from the Dollar Tree. And this is what I recommend you buy. If you've never fake baked before... But you want to. Don't invest your money in this. Because this is $20 right here. This one costs $20. This one costs around $9. Because it's a smaller container. But if you get the large size one. It's going to be $20 as well. And if you're not going to use it. You're just going to waste your $20. So I suggest you go to Dollar Tree. Get you a small container of this. And practice with this. Right, so this is the Dollar Tree brand. This one does have a little grayish tint, so you're gonna have to use some white. Uh, some white acrylic paint when you you know in here to get give it the white color, or if you want pink frosting, you paint it pink. If you want blue frosting, you paint it like whatever color you want. This will take on the color. But if you want white frosting, you're going to need some acrylic paint to mix it in. Now, the thing is, you have to add a little bit at a time. Because if you add too much, it's going to come, it's going to become soupy and gloppy. And you're not going to be able to handle it. It's going to lose its shape. It's not going to form make, make peaks and swirls. And it's just not going to be good. So just add a little bit of time, mix it in. Add a little bit at a time, mix it in. Until it feels like the consistency of frosting, you know, then you're good. But don't add too much at a time. It's just not going to be good. Right? So this is the Dollar Tree brand. This is that. Lightweight spackle. Fast and final. This is what I started with. This also has a, like a... Well, this one, I kind of put some other some of this one in here. But this one, when you buy it, it has a grayish tint as well. So, again, you're going to have to paint it whatever color you want it to be. You want white, you're going to add white. And it takes on any color that you want it to take on. Okay? So, this one right here, Red Devil Lightweight Spackle. I've only been able to find this at Home Depot, 
but you can order it through Amazon as well. This is white. Pure white. I love it. Like if you just want to make a white frosted cake, you don't have to add any paint to this. You don't have to add anything to it. You could just go straight. I mean, if it's too thick, you might want to add a little bit of water. But again, a little bit at a time. Because it will become too soft and you won't be able to handle it. And it's going to be a waste because there's nothing you can do with it. You know? So, this is what I use for my icing. On cakes, like on these cupcakes, I painted it pink. For the, um, for the whipped cream on here, I used lightweight spackle into frost cake if you want a frost cake i don't have a frost cake right now but if you want a frost cake this is what you use now once you have your butter your fake buttercream you're gonna need to get some foam rounds you need foam foam there's so many options for foam you're gonna need you could get this. I got this from Dollar Tree. It's a cone. That's how I made this ice cream cone over here. The base of it is this. Square foams. If you want to make a square cake. This is your man. Like this cake right here. That I made. It's this. I turned this into this. This is spack spackling on the top. Buttercream. Right? You can make it. This is another base you can make for a cake, or you could use it in a um, in a container if you want to hold like you know your treats like this. If you want to, I have a one in here. One of these is in here. If you want to like put it in there for display, you can use it like that. If you want to paint it and make a mini cake, you can do it. I mean. Not paint it. If you want to put um, lightweight spackle on it, you could use this too. You could, you're going to need foam balls of every size you could think of. You want to make cake pops like this. Cake pops. If you want to make like an ice cream cone, this is what I use here, but I, a larger size is an ice cream cone. I mean, there's a foam ball under there, and I put spackle on that. You're going to need all types of foams. And not only that, you could use it to, like, say you made this cake pop and it was wet. You could use it to hold your stuff to dry. You know what I mean? It, that way you don't have to, like, lay down or put it in a cup. Or This will help you hold up your treats while they dry. Right? So... That's your styrofoam. And talking about foam, when you make your treats, you might want to put some things on top of it, like decorations or sprinkles. I got this from Dollar Tree. They come in like all different kind of colors. This was this looks different, but it's baker um bakers <laughs> crafter square. It just looks different, but it came from Dollar Tree. This one. I don't know where I got this. I got this from a, a local dollar store around where I live. Not Dollar Tree, my local dollar store. I mean, these things come in all sizes, shapes. They come really tiny, smaller than this. You can sprinkle that on top of your um, creations. I got this. You got to keep your eye out for every season. I got these gold sprinkles around Christmas time. They had them in gold, silver, and red. You might not need them at that time, but you buy them because it can always come in handy, right? You're going to need some craft sticks. These are colored, but you can use the plain lollipop ones. I don't have any right now. You're going to need paper straws. So if you make a drink or um, like a smoothie or a milkshake or whatever. <clears throat> you're gonna need some 
paper straws. I love paper straws. I got too many paper straws. I don't even want to tell you how many I have. You're going to want to get some Plaster of Paris. Plaster of Paris is your friend. They also have this thing called... I haven't tried it yet, but... It's called Perfect Plaster. I haven't tried it yet because I really haven't needed a, to make anything with the plaster. But I'm going to try it probably this week. And I'll let you know how this goes. But I've been using Plaster of Paris to make my cupcake bases. And I want to give you a little hint. <clears throat> if you have a plastic tin like this, you want to use... Plaster of Paris. Once it dries, it'll pop out easy. In, in this kind of, in this type of um, plastic mold, it'll just pop out once it dries. You make your plaster of Paris according to the directions on the box. Pour it in there, let it dry for a day or two. Once you flip it, it's gonna pop out. I, you cannot, you can try, but Model Magic. I said it right this time, guys. Model magic will not really work in this type of mold. Because, yes, you can put it in there and mold it. The top of the model magic will dry. But once you try to take out this out of the mold, the soft part is dry because this is air dry clay. And in order for this to get hard, air has to hit it. And if it's down here, covered up, and the air's not hitting it, it's going to be soft. So you're going to take it out, out of this container, and it's going to be, it's going to get messed up. It's not going to keep its shape or anything. That's why this kind of mold is good with Plaster of Paris. Now, if you want to make, if you want to use this on a mold, I suggest you use silicone molds. Like this. These kind of molds. That this model magic will just right pop right out of this. Once you once you mold it, you flip it. I mean, you move it around and you till you get it out, take it out and you let it air dry. I've done tons of flowers. I'm gonna show you. I'm sorry, guys, keep coming back and forth, but I don't have a lot of a big space here. So I played all these flowers. Model Magic, acrylic paint, and a mold. These exact these exact molds right here, as a matter of fact. But they don't have to be this exact mold. You can find plenty of molds online. I'll leave a link to a couple that you could um press. But these are dry. Look, fully dry, and they kept their shape. You can see that. See that flower? I made some leaves. And they all kept their shape. But this is air dry clay. So, like I said, you want to make this kind of mold in a plastic? You want to use Paris of, uh, <laughs> plaster of Paris. Make it according to the box. Pour it in there. Let it sit for two days. Right? If you want to make these kind of flowers or uh, anything out of a mold, it doesn't have to be flowers. It could be a macaroon. It could be a cookie. It could be whatever you want it to be. I suggest my magic because it pops right out. I don't have a, oh, I can open this one right here so I can show you. I'm not going to make the plaster of Paris, but you get the idea get you some model magic this stuff out the way right and you get your mold let me move this down a little bit and you're just gonna push the mold I mean the model magic into the mold just push it make sure you push it in good so you can get all the details now look you push it up Make sure you get it up. 
See that? It just pops out. And now you have a flower. Let me see my flower. So this is why I suggest you use Model Magic silicone molds. Not in a plastic mold. It's not going to work. I tried it plenty of times and was disappointed. And I figured out that Model Magic is the way to go. So I made these molds myself. But I'm going to cover that in another video. This is a macaroon. This is a vanilla wafer like how I have on this right here. But we'll cover that on another video. This is just the basics right now. That's a little bit more advanced. Now let's talk sprinkles. So, I'm going to make a video on how to make your own sprinkles somewhere down the line. I made these sprinkles on myself. I made these. This is with polymer clay. And I also made these. Right? But you don't have to make them if you don't want to. There's so many sellers on Etsy and so many other websites where you can buy sprinkles. And I have way too many that I bought. You see this? Do you see this? Nothing else fits in here. But I'm going to show you some of them that I bought. You can buy these kind of round little sprinkles. I love these. These are regular sprinkles, but in bright colors. Some more nonpareils. I love these. And I got this kind. It's just a dip thing. Like, you can really get out of control buying all these sprinkles. I got some gold ones and some silver ones. It 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 is it, it's, it's horrible. You just want to buy all the sprinkles. I got red and green for the holidays. Got some for the fall colors. I got some fall sprinkles. Like I'm telling you, it's very addicting. Very addicting. Once you start buying sprinkles, honey, it's gonna be hard to stop. I got some. These are. Like little popsicle, you can't really see it. Got some smiley faces. I got some red, white, and blue for my red, white, and blue treats that I'm gonna be making soon. Honey, this is addicting. I got some peppermints for my Christmas, uh, for holidays. I got some holiday sprinkles. More holiday sprinkles. Listen, I could go on and on and on and on, but I'm not. I'm going to close this up. Addicting. So another thing you can get, you know, you see people making treats and it look like nuts. This. This is called corn cob bedding. And... It's used for small pets like hamsters and gerbils and stuff. Like this is the, the bedding. It comes in a huge bag. If you buy some of this, you don't have it forever and ever and ever. But you could buy small, smaller quantities online. Um, I might put some on my Etsy shop if y'all are interested on in getting some corn cob bedding. Right? That's what they use for the making nuts. Now let's see. What I got, what else I have. So you can use seed beads for sprinkles. These are really tiny beads. You can use table scatter. They got like, see the tiny stars? You can use that as sprinkles. I mean, there's just a lot of options for making your treats look cute. I bought these strawberries from Hobby Lobby. I did not make those. I know some people were asking me if I made them, but I didn't. You're going to need to have some caulk. Your caulk, you can use it.
for making icings and drizzles. You can put this in the middle of your macarons. That white stuff in the middle is cork. Uh, what else can you use this for? Like I said, you can make a drizzle with it. Um, there's other things you can do with this. I, I'm not, I'm like thinking of it right now, but you definitely need to have this for making fake cakes. You can also use this as icing. You can use this on icing on your cookies. I don't have a cookie with icing on it right now because I kind of gave them away, but actually this in here, the middle of this cookie is cork. This with red um acrylic paint i mixed it up and i put it in there and it looks like that right i put some glitter on top of it that's why it's shiny too but i don't really have anything else to uh, okay you can make like your dips you see the strawberry is dipped in chocolate so you get a little bit of cork and a little bit of um your mod podge Mix it up with some chocolate, uh, I mean some chocolate, some brown acrylic paint, and you can make your dip. You're also going to need to always keep on hand Mod Podge. Got this from Dollar Tree. This is Mod Podge Matte, and then this is Glossy. You need to keep that. You're going to need to keep a collection of sprinkles because everything is better with sprinkles, you know, right? You're going to need to get you a glue gun and some glue sticks. I got these glue sticks from Dollar Tree. The glue gun you can find anywhere. Michael's, Joann's, Hobby Lobby. You just need a small, basic glue gun. Nothing fancy. You're going to need some tips for your icing. And you're going to need some... piping bags you can use these these are not really that stable and you, or you could get the Wilton brand I mean you could buy a big box of like a hundred that'll last you for a while but you're gonna need that if you want to make swirls like this this is this size right here is a 6b and it's the one that has those teeth on it. See it? Right? These are my favorite tips. This one is 2D. Right? Now, this is my favorite one. This is how I made this world right here. This is, where is it? I think it's 1M. Yep. 1M is a Wilton tip. See that? And then you have, like, just the wide open tip this one is 2a okay and then i have the smaller versions of those actually have two one ms because i love that tip so like if i'm using one i could always have another spare one those are my favorite tips and you could always get them in the smaller size like if you make like if you make a smaller cake like this you want to have a smaller tip Hobby Lobby's always has their cake supplies that like, go on sale a lot. So you could get like these tips for like 49 cents, 99 cents. I mean, they're not expensive. You could get a collection going pretty fast. You'll need acrylic paints to paint your cakes, to paint your icing paint your styrofoam to make it like a cake color right you're gonna need some containers if you want to make like an ice cream scoop like this you want to make an ice cream scoop i have another one over here you want to make an ice cream this is chocolate no mint chocolate chip my daughter's favorite so i made one for her these containers are perfect for that I got this from Dollar Tree. 
12 of these containers in one pack for a dollar. You could be making ice creams for days. You know what I mean? It's perfect for this bowl. They have smaller ones than that, like this. This is what I made this jello in. This is made with resin. That's another video down the line. Right? So there's just like they have tons and tons of different plastic containers and they have so many pretty glass containers. This is how I use, how I made this wine glass. I got this from Dollar Tree the glass. It's from Dollar Tree the inside is resin. Hard as a rock. But you don't have to go out and buy expensive glasses or plastic containers or anything like that. You can just go to Walmart. Walmart. <laughs> I need to go to Walmart. That's why I said Walmart. Um, Dollar Tree. And they'll have so many options. Like if you don't, if you just starting out and you don't want to spend a lot of money, I recommend go to Dollar Tree. I'm going to show you your basics you can get from Dollar Tree. I don't have the circle rounds. Hold on a second. Let me get some circle rounds. So at Dollar Tree, you get two circle rounds like this, two for a dollar. You can get you this square thing for a dollar. You can get this one for a dollar. And you can get a cone, but we, I'm talking about making a cake, right? So the basics, if you just want to start and make your cake, I'm going to show you what you need to get from Dollar Tree and so you can get your cake started. You get this from Dollar Tree. This get you some cork. Get you a container of this lightweight spackling. Get you some craft sticks. I like these because you mix it up. When you're done, you throw it away because you don't want to put. You can use save your um your butter containers your jet your, your your yogurt containers and all that because you can use it to mix up your stuff and when you finish you throw it away you don't want to use something that you're going to wash in your sink because what it's going to do is clog up your sink now you're going to have a whole nother issue we don't want that so get you some craft sticks some disposable containers i like using like i got a pack of this these little cups from dollar tree i use it to mix up like if i want to make a quick cookie or something and i just want to make one or two or i just want to make a little bit of icing or something i use that dollar tree does have acrylic paint i'm not a fan of it but if you go to walmart these cost 50 cents apple barrel acrylic paints between 50 cents and 87 cents, depending on the color you want, right? You're gonna need to get you, um, at Dollar Tree they do sell like a, um, a cake decorating set. If you wanna get that, you can get that just to start you off, that's fine. But if you want, like I showed you, you go to get you some tips from Hobby Lobby, even from Michael's, well, these do not cost that much. You won't spend more than $2 on a tip. And it's a great, I mean, you'll have it to use over and over and over. You're going to need some wipes. This is how I clean my tips. Once I'm finished doing whatever I'm doing, I empty out all, if I have any leftovers, I, um... Put it, you know, I usually mix it up in these kind of containers because you put the lid on this, the cork stays pretty good, and then you can use it again later on. So I suggest getting you some of these. This is a four pack for a dollar. You can't beat that. So get you some of this. I'm, I'll recap at the end. 
So after I'm finished using all my cork and everything, I take my tip. I wipe it down with a with a um wet cloth. I get in there, dry it out. You don't want to wash this in the sink. You can't wash this in the sink. You have to like hand wash it with a wet cloth. Take all that gunk out, wipe it off real good. It'll be good as new. This is how I do it. I don't wash it in the sink because I don't want to cause any problems with my plumbing. So remember that. So you can also use sponges if you want to make a cake. I'm going to do a quick little um, cake in the end. I'm going to mix up some buttercream because everybody wants to know how I mix up the buttercream. So I'm going to do that. And we're going to decorate a small little cake. And then that's going to be the end of the video, okay? So if you want to make your cake, once again, all from Dollar Tree. Get you some containers. You're going to put this back in here. You're going to mix it up with your acrylic paint if you want white. Whatever color cake you want, that's what you get. So you're going to get you some lightweight spackle. You could pick up two just in case to make sure you have enough. A square, if you want to make a square cake, square foam. Or round foam, if you want to make a round cake. Some caulk. Some... Craft sticks for mixing the spackle and your acrylic paint. Some you want to get a decorating in the in the food in the section where they keep the spoons and things like that. You'll find the decorating tip is usually hanging up on the wall. You can get you that, or if you want to get piping bags and tips, that's up to you. And basically, that's all you're gonna need. To get started on your fake your first fake bake cake okay so now let me put some of this stuff away so we could try to make a quick little cake i'm gonna show you how to make some spackle right put this away real quick so i wanted to make a chocolate cake so i'm gonna use these sponges right here real quick I need something to put my cake on. Okay, I got some. All right. So, we're going to mix up some. I'm going to use this. I'm going to add to it. But I'm going to show you how it goes. So, I'm going to use this, which is just like this the one from the dollar tree is the same color the same consistency everything about it is the same this is just a bigger container Let's see what I have to do. put some in here it's kind of thick like right now but once i add paint to it it's just gonna soften up a bit so you get me a craft stick right because that's what we want a craft stick and I'm gonna add some brown this one is called chocolate sprinkle got that from Walmart is I love this color it's like a dark chocolate it makes everything look so yummy and real so then you're gonna mix it up Mix, mix, mix. So you get that. This is how you do the buttercream. Just get you some lightweight spackle and mix it up with some paint. See how it's starting to get soft, like like buttercream. If it's too, still too thick, this is what I do. I have a little spray bottle. I don't want to dump water in here because it's going to make it too soft. 
and that's not what I want. So I do this. This is actually I got this tip from a cake decorate a cookie decorator when she made her royal icing. She would spray it instead of adding like a spoon of water or whatever because it could easily go the other way. Be too soft to handle, too soft to do anything with. I'm gonna just add a little bit more water. All right, I think that's gonna be good. I always keep a little spray bottle for the water nearby. All right, this is what I'm talking about. See this? It's like frosting. That's what you want. So, you could take your, if you want to go with sponges, you want to make some sponges. This one had that, that, uh, uh part, the, 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 I can't think of the word, you know, the scouring pad part on it. So, all I did was ripped it off, and now I'm going to add some frosting, cover it up. So if you get some pads that have that scouring thing on it, you could just rip it off. But I suggest it be the part that you keep in the middle of the cake. I'm just gonna, um, I'm not gonna cover the whole cake. I'm just doing a quick little tutorial so you can see. I think I could put more in there to make it look more. Let's put a little bit of a thicker layer on it. So you can see it in between the layers. You know, that's a, a piece of cake that don't have no icing in the middle. Sucks, right? All right. See that? You could just take it. If you want to wear a glove or what, I'll just smooth it. Smooth it. See that? Just go around. Smooth it. See, now your cake got something in the middle. Right? You can cover the whole thing in cake. I mean, in spackle. And you don't have to make... If you're going to cover the whole thing in spackle, you don't have to put anything in between because nobody's going to see that. But I'm just trying to make a little... Like a layer cake. Real quick so you can see. Got it chunk of I don't even know what that is so you just put it on there like if you was frosting a regular cake a real cake put it on there smooth it out I know this don't look too good on this side but Cause I kind of messed it up, but so don't do like me. So let's say you want to make a little design on your cake. You go. Right. And then you could take your, um, I'm going to use a small tip. You know, I told you to keep a small tip on here. A little project like this. You don't need a big tip because if you use a big tip, oh, okay. So remember I showed you, you put the tip in, right? Then you take your scissor right to, not to the edge, cut it so that just the tip part is hanging out. Because you don't want to make the hole too big before you put the tip in there. And you don't waste the tip in your time. So we're gonna take some of this, put it in there. Right? Bring it down. Don't this look like one of those um tasty cakes? I swear it looked like a tasty cake. So shoot, it could be a tasty cake. <laughs> right? But anyways. I'm getting carried away here. But if you want to put some, I'm holding it in my hand. 
So you can hold it just so you can see. But you can leave it on your plate. You go boom, 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 boom. Right? Hold on, I gotta bring this down a little bit. And look, you have a nice sponge cake. You can put some, where are my sprinkles at? You know, you gotta have some sprinkles on here. Well, I don't know where my other ones that I like a lot. Just put some of these on there. Right. I have a little strawberry over here. Just take this. Make you a nice little swirl in the middle. And throw this strawberry on there. Look at that. Quick little cake made with sponges. So... I think I gave you all the information that I have for a beginner. Uh, like I said, Fake Bakes 101. But if you have any questions about what I showed you here today, please leave it in the comments. Okay? I'm sorry this video took so long, but it was a lot of stuff to cover. And I didn't even really cover some of the things. Like how to make a cupcake base and things like that because I don't have the time for the video. But like I said, I might make one. Make a fake bake part two in the near future. So see how nice that looks? So stay tuned. And please don't forget to comment, like, and uh, share this video with a friend who's into fake baking or thinking about fake baking or this is great for a girl's night make a fake sponge cake whatever i don't know i put the ideas out there just trying to answer a lot of the questions that i've been getting you know in private and via the comments so i thought i would uh just put a little bit of information together in one video for you guys okay well anyways i'm gonna let you go so y'all stay safe see you in the next video god bless